You know, everyone's so busy these days, barely have time to accomplish all those little tedious tasks that you have on your to-do list. Goes on and on, right? Yeah, never <laughs> ends, apparently. Well, it never hurts to try some shortcuts to make life a little easier. Professional organizer Barbara Reich. That was great. Has Kevin. simple Good tricks to save us some time. I like to call her Babs. <laughs> Babs is good. Babs, hook us up. It's all good. Good all to have good. you here. Come Thank on you. in now. Thank you. Okay, so uh, this is an issue that our Kevin has come on the show before and talked about. <laughs> it's a sock issue. It's a love-hate relationship. You throw five in there, six in there, you get five back. It's that bag of widows. It's difficult. What do you do? What I suggest is that you buy all the same sock. So have all the same athletic sock, all the same beige socks, and all the same black socks. So first yeah. of all, you completely eliminate the annoying task of sorting socks. Mm -hmm. And then, when you lose a sock, it's a lot less frustrating. That's one of those ah. tips is so simple as I went and think of that. I've never thought of that. <laughs> and that's why I'm here. Well, because oh you, you don't necessarily buy all your socks in one lump sum all at once, usually. You have all these different socks from, you know, years ago, so now you got to go back and Get all the same socks. Get all that the same great. socks. Got to absorb that one. That was really good, Barbara. Okay, <laughs> so you. dry cleaners is the next one, right? I haven't. I'm not a big dry cleaning guy. I mean, obviously I dry clean mm -hmm. this shirt, but I haven't tackled the dry cleaner yet. And then you have, obviously have some great uh, time con uh, time yeah. efficiency tips yeah. to. Uh, so what I suggest is that you get the stain stickers from the dry cleaner. So instead of showing up at the dry cleaner and you have this big bag of stained and soiled clothing and you sit there taking out garment after garment and saying, oh, where was the stain? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. If you have the stain stickers at home, after you take off your shirt at night or your tie at night, you remember where the stain is and you mark it. It's a huge time saver. And they'll give those to you? The most cleaners will just give them to you? I mean, the my dry cleaners knew I was going to be on TV, but they'll give you 10 ah. or 12. Tell them you got to be on TV. They might not yeah, give yeah, you the yeah. roll, but yeah. And if you can't get it, you can get fluorescent stickers at Staples. All right, that sounds good. It's better than your finger pointing over there. Better than your finger pointing. You have a camera over here, and the reason being that you take a lot of photos, especially of your kids, you're on vacation. The, the question comes in, when do you organize all the pictures? Well, what I tell people to do is to delete the pictures as you take them. Typically, yeah. people take three to five pictures of something or someone, mm -hmm. and you know right away which pictures you're not keeping. So you can immediately eliminate the ones that are unflattering, the ones that are unfocused, the ones that are completely unnecessary. And then when you get home and you're downloading, you'll spend less time downloading, and you'll have more time for sorting and editing. OK. I, yes. I, apparently, I was doing it the opposite way. That's what I, was I take a lot of pictures <laughs> and send all day like, hmm, who, right. who took this shot? Right. Oh, that's exactly. me. Well, some people so, never download them, yeah. which is so that, that's yeah. for another segment. Yeah, that <laughs> would, that's that would be me, too. Yeah. It is. Just get it knocked out in the very beginning. Yeah. Right. OK, you got a bag here. Is this mm -hmm. Kevin's purse? By any chance? I don't know. Is this yours? You organized, no. Kevin? No. Not, this is not yours today? No. Organized in the bag. Right. What's, what's this tip here? Well, first of all, buy bags with good internal pockets. But mm -hmm. the, the, the message here is routines work. Do things the same way every time. So always put your phone in the same part of your bag. Always put your keys in the same part of the bag. When you get home, put your bag in the same place. Charge your phone in the same place. And if you do these things and you establish routines, you avoid a lot of time looking for things. Right, because you know where everything is supposed to be. You know where everything be. is, okay. exactly. And then we've got the wine here. You knew Kevin was coming. This is for a good tip, good tip for organizing when you've got uh, get-togethers, parties, you've got to mm -hmm. get out greeting cards, things like that. So what do you say to this one? So what I say is have go-to gifts. So if you know that you like to bring a bottle of wine when you go to somebody's house for dinner, have a case of wine at home ready to go. And then go the extra mile and have gift bags ready to present the wine in. Okay, So that's that way you're invited somewhere and you don't have to think, oh God, what am I going to bring? Or as you're getting dressed, you're like, oh my God, I forgot that I need to bring them something. Mm -hmm. And another thing that I love is gift cards. Gift cards, you can keep them in your house in any denomination, from any store. They're appropriate for any age, for any occasion. And the best part is they're not cluttering up my house, they're not cluttering up your house. Exactly. They take up very little Everyone space. Everyone loves those. I actually yeah. do this. <laughs> you do? Very important. Yeah, because I think it's very rude to be invited somewhere and not bring a gift mm -hmm. or something for, right. for, for the host or, you know, yeah. so. You bring something right. like That's this is a good my, deal. My, my big pet peeves. Health and insurance you. claims are over here. Oh, God, those things are so oh, annoying to fill out. They're so annoying. Avoid these like the plague. <laughs> well, a lot. And lots of people do, and you're entitled to money back, and you're entitled to reimbursements, and many people leave that money on the table because the thought of filling out the form is so onerous exactly. to them. I'll deal but with the cold. It's all right. got to <laughs> download it. You gotta, it's, they make yeah. it difficult. They, they do, but what you can do to make it easier is fill out the form in advance. Most of the information on the form is generic. You can fill it out for each member of your family, and you can make copies and have 10 copies for each member of your family. And the part that's right. specific to a doctor's visit or a specific illness, just write C attached. Oh, okay. And then when you go to the doctor, all you have to do is staple the page from the doctor to the page you already filled out, put mm. it in an envelope, and if you're really efficient, you've mm. already printed out labels addressed to the insurance company in advance. Everybody needs and to have ready a, to go. a barber in their life, yeah. right? Yeah. All right, good to have you here. Thanks Thank so much. You. We'll be right back. Thanks. There's still more of Better to Come.